so welcome guys and in the last section we had gone up to the level where we were able to produce uh, the password and we did it using this lip and mpesa password and that we were able to generate the password and we also tested using the 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 postman so we set up a route for that in the api.php file which is this one and then we were able to generate so if we hit send it returns the password so that is where we were in the last uh, video but then i was talking to you uh, about uh, why do we need to generate this password and i told you that uh, while doing the stk push we'll need this password so that is why we generated in advance and then when doing the stk push we'll just use this me this method and it will be generating that password in the stk push uh, method right so we are to move to another method which is the new access token i just call it new access token method but generally this uh, generates a new access token so we need this access token for us to also do the stk push we have to to include this token in the header http headers uh, for us to generate this for us to to do the stk push uh, successfully so this is the new method that I've just created. I am going to paste the code and I'll be explaining line by line and I know that you're going to understand very well. Just to save on time. Well, so let's begin with the first line. The first line I've set the variable called consumer key. Where do we get it? Well, the second line I've set a variable called consumer secret. Where do we get it? But I think you remember the first time we went to Safaricom developers portal and we created a new app, right? So it is from that app that you're going to get this consumer key and consumer secret. So why do we need consumer key and consumer secret? We need the consumer key and consumer secret because of generating the the credentials. Uh, this credential is a B64 encoded string that is sent to for us to get back the token. Okay? So it is sent together with this URL for us to get back the token. So I'm just going to, to show you. Uh, I'm just going back to the developer's portal so that I can show you where to get this consumer key and the consumer secret. So every time you create the, um, you create a new application, and uh, you are, if you log into your developer's portal, you go to my apps. So you'll find the list of your applications here. So I only have one application, and this is for this purpose right so i just click on c to b test application and here i have my consumer key and my consumer secret so these are the ones that you are going to use in generating access token so what i have to do just to copy this consumer key and paste it here and copy this consumer secret again and paste it here so we have our consumer key and consumer secret variables populated now why do we need this we need them to to generate a base 64 encoded string that we are going to send together uh, while doing this post request to safaricom to send us back the access token so the url is this one and i told you that uh, this this url you can get in the documentation but if it is test, it's on the sandbox, so we are using sandbox here. So if it were live, it would have been API. But now we are using sand, it is sandbox here because we are just testing. It's not application that's going. It's not an application uh, that will go live. We are just testing. It is still in the testing stage. That is why we are using sandbox.safaricom.co.ke. 
So this is the URL is given by Safaricom, and we have the the base sixty five encoded string of which I'm calling credentials. But you can call it anything. You remember this is a variable. You can call it anything, but I'm calling it credentials. So getting this credential, which is a base sixty four encoded consumer key, and then remember you concatenate with this colon consumer key concatenate with the colon and concatenate with the consumer secret okay and then uh, that you encode it so for example it will be like something like let's copy this it will be something like uh, base base 64 encode and then that and then colon like that followed by the secret like that it is something like this right but now the the the, 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 the only different thing is that i've just i made a variable for consumer key and consumer secret and now i'm now, now concatenating this thing like that okay so now we have the required credentials. We have the consumer key, we have the consumer secret, we have the credentials, and these are the six two encoded uh, consumer key, colon, then consumer secret, and then you have the URL. This URL is where we are going to send a post request. So for us to get this token, we have to send a post request to M-Pesa, and we have to send to a particular URL, which is this one here. So we have the URL, and for us to send this, M-Pesa requires, uh, M -Pesa requires this consumer key and consumer secret, and that is why we, we just formed, we just rewrote this variable credential and, uh, and equated it to this one, and assigned it this, this basic phone encoded uh, consumer key, colon consumer secret. So we have to do what? We have to make an, uh, a post request. So what you are going, you are seeing here is just a post request. We are doing a post request, but we are using curl. But you can use a Gazla. You can use a nick land that will enable you to a, a, a the HTTP land that will enable you to add uh, headers uh, and uh, to add also fields. Okay. So I'm going. This uh, curl request starts from here and ends here. So. This should not be, you should not worry, this is just a standard way. For example, you can, in any post request, for example, if we were posting this to this string, let me just show you, let me just copy this string. I'm just copying that. I'm going back to postman. And I'll just add another tab and paste that. So let's say that you are doing a post request there. I can just hit on send i know it is not going to reach it's returning one but for me to get this code i just click on code here and you go to php and you get the same thing you see it is just the, like the same thing they are initializing curl and then adding parameters like that so that is how you can maybe get that code easily you can just uh, take those uh, those parameters put them on postman and send and you'll get them so you can look at postman in case you are not familiar with it so the first thing we are initializing the curl library after initializing the second line we are setting the url so we are telling it that uh, this request it is going to be sent to this url and remember this url is this one here okay in the next line we are setting the we are setting we are setting the http headers so i told you that when sending a request to safaricom or mpesa to get back the token mpesa requires a http header for it to verify if this if this uh, really came from it or not so that is why we are setting the HTTP headers here. And we are first setting the authorization to basic. And then we have this space here. 
but then you are concatenating with this. You remember this code base uh, sixty four and code a string here, which we call uh, credentials. So we are we are uh, concatenating with that, and then another one we are setting is content type. We are setting to application stock JSON. So you have to do this. You have to set the content type to application stock JSON, and then you have to include this because this authorization because it is the one that Safaricom will first read to see if it is uh, authentic or not. So after that, uh, we, are now, we are now setting header to false. Okay, now this is HTTP header, okay? Well, now this line here, uh, we have HTTP verify, verify PR, we are setting it to false. These are just parameters that you usually set in the, while doing the car request. And then we have this return transfer true. So we are return, we are setting it to true so that it will return back the response. So you are setting this to true so that it can return back the response after sending the, the, the request. Okay. And then call response, we are now executing this. Okay, we are now executing this. This request. And now it is like now we are sending that request to Safaricom. It is now like we are sending this post request to this URL here. Okay. And then after executing that, it will return back the response. And that response is the one that we are now calling access token. And we are now decoding the response. That is decoding the call response, which is this one. And then after that, we are closing now the the call. We are now closing the call library. We are now closing that uh, that request. So after that, you remember access token. We we decoded it here. It is so it is a JSON object, and now from that object you are getting the access token that is in there. One of the parameters in that object here. One of the keys. So we are setting. We are now returning the value of that key called access token here. So this is going to, if this goes on successfully, it's going to return uh, that token. So this is, this is how we are returning that token, we're going to return that token. So for us to test that, of course, we have to set up another route that we are going to, to, to now send. Uh, we are now going to, to receive back the response and, and uh, we are going to, 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 to test using the postman. So let's do it. So just save that. I'll go to the API. And remember, we set this up just to test for um, the password. Actually, the password is not, uh, you, you don't really send request to M-Pesa. But we are just testing. But the, the to generate the access key, uh, access token, we have to send a post request. So you change the method from from get to post, and then where we are, are we posting? Where are we? We are getting back that. So, but then we are just send. We are just set Mpesa new access token. Like you can set any route you want, but this route is going. It's going. That is where you are going to send, and then you get back the you get back the, 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 the access token. So M-Pesa controller and then the method is new, access token like that. We have to verify the method. So you have to remove one S here. So we have set up now the, we have set up the, the route. Now we are going to do that to send that request. We are now going to copy this. Just copy it, go to the postman, and then uh, here we are going to first change this from get to post, and let's just paste there, like that. So if our, our, our code is right, it should return back the token. So let's test and see. In saying not found. Okay. 
So let's, uh, that route is not found. I don't know why. Let, let's look at it first. M Pesa new access. Okay, it is. Let me try to copy it again. And then. Oh, the problem was, uh, you, you know, this, you see these are double slashes. I think that is the problem. So let's just remove that and then paste again since we changed. So let me just remove that and now let's send again and see. So let's send again. I don't know why this route is not found. Oh, we didn't save this. We didn't save this api.php. We didn't save. So I'll just save like that. Let's go back and send again. And we're saying that um, new access token does not exist. I don't know how we named it, so let's go back to the controller and check. I just copy this as it is and go back to the API and paste it. So let's send again and see. And there we have our token. So our code is working right. That is why every time we send, we are getting a new token. You see this one the way it looks. And then we send again and we are getting another token. So I hope you followed and maybe in case you have any question, just ask in the comment section. And I'll explain every, anything, maybe if you got lost anywhere, I'll explain to you. Now, we did, the first time we, we generated the, we did a function to generate the password. And then the second one we have done here today, where we have now generated the access token. And I'll explain to you about the, the consumer key, consumer secret, set the credential, then the URL, and then we have sent a, a request to that URL to the sandbox URL and then you have gotten back the access token and we've returned the access token and now the token is generated successfully so anytime we want to generate uh, to get a new access token uh, we just make use of this new access token function so we'll just be using this and uh, we have the password we have the token now we are ready to do the the, the last method which will do SDK push. So that method is going to, to send SDK push to, to, to M-Pesa. And then if it will be successful, it is going to return back the result. Uh, and then we are going to deal with that data. We can save it in the database or we can maybe save it in a JSON file and look at it. So thank you so much. Please consider subscribing and sharing and liking my channel. So let's meet in the next uh, video and in the next video we are going to now uh, write the method that is we are going to use to do the SDK push so that when we do SDK push if it is successful you are going to receive a pop-up on your phone that uh, that you want to pay organization ABC did this amount of money and if you input your pin correctly and you have enough money in your Mpesa the money is going to be deducted from your account and is going to be transferred to the organization's account or business that you are paying account. So thank you so much and let's meet then.